So yesterday we have seen that uh, Selenium session WebDriver Basics Java that how to launch Firefox or Google Chrome. So Firefox, I'll, I'll let you know how to do that. Some uh, versioning problem in my laptop. So, but that's the same step that you have to follow in your laptop. And uh, for Chrome also the same thing, driver driver equal to new Chrome driver. And then uh, you have to launch the Chrome, enter the title, I mean, enter the URL, get the title and everything. And then a couple of things are there. It's very, very simple. So, okay, so let's move further that so far we have seen that, okay, how will you browsing is getting launched the URL and getting the title. But what if we have, uh, let's see, some form is there. We have to fill a form. So to submit the form and to fill the form, we have to enter text fields and some values in the text field. We have to select the drop down values. We have to select the checkbox, right? We have to or something. So how will we do that? Can you guys please be on mute? Can you guys please be on mute? Okay. So, because that's important thing, because in every manual testing, if you are doing, like you are filling a form, you are submitting the form, you are filling the page, so entering some values, right? So same thing, we have to do it in, in Selenium. So how will we do that? So first I'll give you an idea what do you have to do on uh, Firefox you have to download two things on Firefox so first you have to open google.com what you have to do you have to download two plugins on Firefox first plugin is called firebug download simple right firebug download click on this and just click on add to firefox okay so i have already added so i'm not going to do that so first thing is firebug okay second thing is you have to download firepath okay again it's a small plugin on firefox again add to firefox it will ask you to restart your Firefox and then your Firefox will be launched again. So these two things you have to Firebug and Firepath that you have to. Okay, these two add-ons you have to download. So once you download it properly, after that you will see one icon over there on Firefox. This is called bug icon. Can you see that fire bug icon? You just need to click on it right now it's deactivated you have to activate it so just click on it and you will see that this particular screen will be open at the bottom and you have to click on this fire path okay now if i open any website let's see this is a site half.ebay.com this is a shopping site this is the acquired company by ebay so simple one shopping site is there right and uh, what I'll do I'll go to its sign in page okay and uh, I'll go to its registration page right so let's see on registration page this form is available right I have number of text fields and drop downs are there okay and then uh, Again, drop downs and checkbox, and then button is there. Some links are also available. So, how to perform action with these elements? Okay. So, to perform some action on these elements, we need some properties of these elements so that we can tell to Selenium that okay, this is a property, and then perform action. Action means if it is a text field, you have to fill the value. If it is a button or link, you have to click on it. Right. The same way, so the same way we're doing it, manual testing also that if it is a text field, I have to enter something. Let's see test, right? Like this, so we have to enter something here. So, but I want the same thing has to be done by Selenium. So, how to do that? So, to for doing this thing, we need this firebug and firepath. So, once you open this firebug and firepath. This is a spy button. This is called inspect button or spy button. So just click on it and you can inspect. See, 
like this. You can inspect any element, first name, last name, street address. You can inspect this image also, you can inspect this text also. Okay. So with this particular inspect icon, you can inspect any element. So let's say I'm inspecting first name. So you will see that the moment I inspect, okay, it will generate this blue line. Okay, the HTML code, it will give it to you that, okay, what exactly the corresponding HTML code is available for the first name field. So always remember one thing, in first name field also, there they are two things. This is a label. So I'm not going to spy a label. I'm going to spy this particular field, text field, because I have to enter the value in this particular field. Right? So what we have to do? We have this input and blah 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 some information is there now what we have to do we have to first understand what exactly this okay html code so the moment you spy this particular field it will generate this blue line okay it will highlight this uh, line so immediately after this bracket can you see that one angular bracket is there this is called immediately after this input is written it means this is the input field this input is also called HTML tag If I ask you what is the HTML tag of first name you just immediately spy this and you will see that immediately after Angular bracket whatever is written it's written input. It means then input is the HTML tag of first name if I ask you what is the Street address HTML tag again input Okay, if I ask you what is the HTML tag of this select field So this is called select not input now. This is select Okay, if I ask you what is the in HTML tag for this image half dot half dot com So IMG immediately after the bracket whatever it is written. This is called HTML tag Okay, so just note it down. It's very important We have to spy this and immediately after the bracket angular bracket whatever it's written okay this is called input this is called html tag of that particular element okay and see in selenium everything is called element all these objects are called element web element either this image this field this text field whatever whatever you can see on the page you can spy and you can everything is called web element so what is the first name web element this what is HTML tag input and what are the and other things like ID equal to this name equal to this size equal to this value equal to blank and other things these are called properties or attributes so if I ask you what are the different properties and HTML tag of first name so the HTML tag of first name is input and these are the properties and by using some properties we can perform some action on these fields got it so these are called properties id equal to this name equal to this size equal to 32 value equal to blank this and type equal to text okay and each and every field having some different property or some other property or some less property or you know some more properties let's see if you see this email address for email address we have input tag id equal to this name equal to this and we have some other properties like on on copy equal to this on paste equal to this something like this okay so for each and every field we have html tag and different properties now i have to enter something here in first name how will i do that okay so again i'll create a new class Let's see, my class name is locator concept. Okay. And what I'll do, simple. I'll be launch in Google Chrome. So I'll take this code from here to here. This code will remain same always. We have to download this chrome driver.exe. You have to give the path. Web driver driver equal to new chrome driver and driver dot instead of driver dot get google.com i'll take this url okay so i'm going to take this url 
copy this and paste it over here instead of google.com if we if we create a function for this navin and if we call that function even that will work right function for what means for this uh, uh, launching the uh, google chrome how will you create the function so uh, i'll write a set of code uh, under that function and i'll just call that function over here yeah 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 that you can so you can do that okay okay yes okay so that is also you can do that but function is always used when every time it is required okay so once you have to use a repeat uh, same code again and again but this code in this particular program will be used only once so you can use it like this and it's up to you okay you can create a function also you can write these two lines in that function and you can call that function okay okay but the sequence will be like this first you have to set the property always remember and then launch the google chrome like this web driver driver equal to new chrome driver and then driver dot get is always used to enter the url whatever the url is this is the url okay i'm entering over here so let's see till here it's working or not so let's run this program you will see that one google chrome will be launched see it, it got launched and it's entering the url and we are in this page now right so so far it's working fine now we have to enter something on so i'm going to close this now we have to enter something on first name so let's spy this and we know that okay this is the input field and number of attributes are there so now we are on the page what we have to do we have to enter something on first name so we have another method driver dot find element method is there okay driver dot find element method is there and then we have an inside the driver dot find element method we have we use by class b capital by class is already available in selenium by dot we have another method x path okay by dot x path and we have to give the x path so how to get the x path this is a, can you see that x path is equal to this so this is the x path you have to take it copy this and paste it over here i'll repeat don't worry okay so driver dot find element by dot what by dot x path x path you will get it from here and don't take this dot okay x path should start with double slash so don't take this dot okay and dot what is the action you want to perform so i want to perform i have to fill something so in selenium if you want to enter something in a particular text field you have to use send keys method send keys and what exactly you want to send let's see my first name is tom okay i'll repeat what you have to do driver dot find element is the method driver dot find element method is available in web driver so we are accessing through the reference object reference driver dot find element inside the bracket what we have to write by class is there by dot by using what by using x path and this is x path so till from here to here it will give you one web element okay it will give you one web element and on this particular web element what exactly you want to do i want to perform send keys and i want to enter tom okay same thing for last names what you have to do now the code will remain same for all the element driver dot find element by dot x path and x path of second element means last name so again i'll spy this and see this is the x path i'm getting just copy this x path and paste it over here and dot again send keys because this is a text field and uh, last name is let's see peter right after that let's see we have street address so what again i'll spy this street address is this i'll copy this x path okay don't take dot again same method driver dot see find element by dot x path b capital guys always remember so by is a class by dot x path x okay by using what x path so this is the x path and dot 
send keys let's see address is uh, something like this okay driver dot find element by dot x path address okay and dot send keys and this is what we are passing so let's run this program and let's see it's working or not so you will see chrome is getting launched it's entering the url and then it will fill the value can you see that tom peter and his street address is getting filled right so similarly we can fill the value in other fields also like that for uh, select button how can we use that yeah, yeah i'm coming on that point okay so this is only this is for text field now by using xpath we are doing that okay so first locator is xpath we are using but what we are using xpath this is the first locator so there are eight locators are available in selenium you can use any of them but there are some priorities which one should be used which one should not be used okay which is recommended which is not recommended so the first is xpath it's very important to understand these things first is xpath okay oh, oh, well, Navin, one question here hmm. Uh, when we inspect an element at that moment if it is in text field then mm -hmm. we generally use this x path no no it's not compulsory okay it's not compulsory that if text field is there then only we have to use x path i'm coming on that point now that's an important thing i'm covering you will understand okay. Wait. Okay. the second thing is id how to use id so id is another locator so let's see i don't want to use x path okay for some reason I'll tell you what is the reason so let's see I'm commenting these three lines I don't want to use X path okay I want to use ID again I have to enter first name so same method driver dot find element by dot you will see ID is also there ID see earlier we were using X path right this particular suggestion now you have to use this method ID method by dot <coughs> by dot ID so first i'll check i'll inspect this first element i'll check id is there yes by dot id is there first name is there i copy the value of id copy paste it over here first name and dot again this is a field so i have to use send keys send keys is what tom okay now same thing i have to do it for last name so again driver dot find element by dot by dot what by dot id okay id is for last name id is last name paste dot send keys and peter right so this is how we can use id so let's see it's working or not see earlier we were using by dot x path now we are using by dot id so the xpath syntax is like this this is xpath and the id is only simple string will be there okay so a by dot id but what happens sometimes id is not available okay sometimes id attribute is not available in that case we have to use xpath okay so it depends i'll tell you what is a priority okay but first cover all these locators and then i'll tell you so by dot id send key storm so let's see it's running it's working or not see it's entering tom and peter right so by dot id also it's working okay fine another locator is name so let's see i don't want to use xpath i don't want to use id also I want to use name so again driver dot find element by dot name is there can you see that name so what is the name I just by first name see name is the name is equal to first name 
see if name is not available then we cannot use by dot name if it is available there that's why we are using by dot name okay so by dot name copy this and dot again send keys and send keys is what let's see tom same thing first last name driver dot find element by dot name name of uh, last name this so this is name is equal to last name i'll copy this name equal to this and dot send keys and send keys is peter see guys i cannot use this by dot size or by dot value because there is no method in by class so if you see after dot control space class name css selector 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 only 8 locators are available okay by dot id by dot name is there you can see that by dot id by dot name is there by dot xpath is there but there is no by dot value or by dot this thing by dot size or by dot max length so you cannot use the these kind of attributes in by class okay so by dot id by dot name you can use okay so whatever the name is available just copy and paste it over here and send keys tom so let's see it's running or not with by dot name also so it's launching google chrome url entering first name and last name right so with by dot name also we are able to do that okay so third will third is by dot name okay Similarly, we have another is uh, another thing is link text. This is only and only for links. Okay, so let's see. I want to click on a link. Let's see this uh, uh, <clears throat> this link or maybe sign in link. I want to click on this link. So if I spy this link, so you will see that. First of all, I can use how what are the different things I can use. I can use by.xpath also. I can use this xpath and I can use that. But this xpath is not recommended to use. This is not a good xpath. Why? Because this xpath is a hierarchy based xpath. It's coming from here. Somewhere from HTML, then body. Can you see that? HTML, then body, then after body, go to div number one. After body, go to div number one, then go to div number five, go to div number five, and then div number two, then a link is available. So this is not recommended. Why? Let's you tomorrow sign in link is has been shifted from here to here. Okay, from here to here or from here to here. Let's see. So this thing will be disturbed. It will be div seven or div ten, and this div one, div two will be div four or div five. Right? So, so the position of this particular sign in element, if it is getting changed, your X path will be changed. So X path is what? X path is means X path means the address of that particular element. Okay. So let's see if you are living in a city, in that particular city, in that particular area, in that particular colony. Okay. And in your apartment, you are on second floor. Okay. Or your apartment number is uh, your flat number is two zero one. Right, so your X path will be, your X path will be what like? Your X path will be Pune slash your area slash, let's say your area is on Pune slash on slash some apartment number, let's say apartment is ABC apartment slash A block slash second floor slash 201. Right, now let's see you move to in some, in the same area, you have been moved to some, some other different apartment. So your A, uh, your xpath will be changed right so earlier you have used that particular xpath to reach to that particular element right and tomorrow that you element has been shifted to to a, some other place then your xpath will be disturbed right so your skip will not work in that case selenium will try to go to that particular location that okay on flat number 201 let's you have, you have shifted to on flat number 501 right or in some different society in that case selenium will not work selenium will be confused or selenium you if you are not able to i mean selenium is not able to find 
that particular element on that particular location selenium will give you element not found exception okay so this is not recommended to use if the xpath is coming like this you can use xpath if xpath is coming like this at the rate id is equal to this because this is not the hierarchy based xpath okay but if the xpath is coming like this you should not use these kind of xpath that html slash div slash 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 like this okay you should not use okay so what to do now so i cannot use xpath there is no id also can you see that id and name is also not available so i cannot use id i cannot use name also so for especially for links we have created link text it's very simple driver dot again same method find element by dot link text method is there okay by dot link text it's only and only applicable for links guys by dot link text and what is the text of that particular link so text of this link is sign in so you can find it over here see you can see that sign in sign in link is there right just copy this and paste it over here and dot what we have to do we cannot use send keys here why because this is a link i cannot pass any value to a link so we have to use dot click method okay so driver dot find element by dot uh, this link this link will not like uh, we cannot use name tag for that uh, for the link and name tag. link stuff like name will not work because name is not here right where is the name there is uh, no but uh, there is nothing like uh, any string value or no, like no. Uh, i thought the string value will be taken by name tag or no 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 like the name is like especially if they have mentioned like this name equal to first name then only you can use that for okay. for sign in there is no name there is a class class equal to okay this. so it should have uh, yeah it should have name have equal to attribute. something yes we can put it. Yes, you should have that name equal to something. Name equal to attribute should be there. Then only we can use. Okay. If it okay. doesn't have any name or ID, see ID is also not there. ID equal to is not there. Name equal to not there. But for city, for this these things, see, ID is equal to city. Name equal to city. I can use by dot ID. I can use by dot name. I can use by dot x path also. For this particular field. But but there are some fields. I mean, there are some elements where ID is not available, name is not available. They have only two properties. This is the sign is having only two properties: class equal to this and href property. Okay. Where exactly you want to move this property is till here, and then one text is there: sign in text. So with link, always remember all the links are represented by a tag. Okay, what is the HTML tag of sign in A? Okay, always remember this thing. And if A tag is there, it's most of the time you won't find ID and name. You will see href value, class value, and this blue color is coming due to this class. Can you see that the blue color, uh, blue color of this text, this link? Okay, so ID I cannot use, name I cannot use. So what I have to do? Driver dot find element by dot link text sign in. Just click on sign in. Okay, so dot click method is there. By dot link text is there. Okay, so this is called link text. Sign in. So let's run this program. Okay, let me run it again. It's entering Tom Peter and it's clicking on sign in link. So it's coming on this page. Right? So it's coming on this page now. It means sign in link is working. So we are able to click on sign in link. Right, so I'm going to comment this line because 
we have to work upon this page only because otherwise it will click on it and it will move to the next page right so this is another thing another important is partial link text okay so this is not recommended to use not useful we don't we don't use partial link text we never use partial link text partial link text is like this driver dot find element by dot you can see partial link text partial link text is used when let's see this is a long text okay want to register okay this uh, thing is there or let's see some other links like uh, let's see how to pick a great user id something like this so a long text is available okay for the links okay. in that case i cannot i can use this partial link text you just the partial part of you have you have to provide so partial part links like if you are providing how to pick okay you can provide like this how to pick no need to write the complete link text how to pick a great user id or something like that or learn about secure password so you can write only learn about okay and simple dot click so you can use partial link text like that but this is not recommended better to use link text always for the links so but this is only for links this is also this is only for links also partial link text but this is not useful okay so don't use partial link text but for your understanding point of view i'm telling you another one is css selector css selector is also very important so how to use css selector driver dot find element by dot css selector so how to get css selector let's see i want to enter i want to enter street here okay so for a street this is the okay input field just right click on your input field and copy css selector can you see that copy css selector and paste it over here okay and dot send keys and let's see 12 new street okay so driver dot find element by dot css selector hash address one so how to create css selector you spy this first name just right click and copy css selector you either you can use like this or you can see what is the id id is first name okay id is equal to first name so just write hash and id value okay simple put hash and what is the value of id just write like this address one okay so you can use css selectors also right so let's i'm commenting this line otherwise it will click on this how to pick so first it will enter tom peter and then it will enter 12 new street see 12 new street by using css selector we are using okay another thing is class so how to use class but again this is not recommended not useful so simple driver dot find element by dot you can see class name not exactly class actually this is class name so what is the class name see if you enter something here in city so can you see that there is no class okay so i cannot use class name here so let's see for uh, last name again there is no class so one class attribute will be there then only you can fill the value okay so class is not there let's see for this you can use like this okay 
class equal to a n c a a b like this okay so you can use like this this is the class name and this is a link right so we have to click on it so dot click by dot class name also you can use like this but this is not at all recommended not useful okay because class name can be duplicate let's see i have another link help okay so it may be class name whatever the class name we are having okay for this particular link and whatever the class name we are having for this particular link may be common so class name can be duplicate for different elements okay so class name can be same for a different element so this is not recommended to use okay class name we should not use so these are the seven locators one more locator is there tag name which i'll cover later so what is xpath what is id what is name what is link text partial link text cs selector class name which one is the best one so if id is available i'll prefer to use first priority i'll give it to this guy id okay and name is available or xpath is available but xpath it should not come in the form of hierarchy based xpath always remember okay hierarchy based xpath i should not use otherwise if it is coming like this i can use xpath on the second priority and name is my third priority okay you can use name also for links my first priority will be link text okay link text okay so this is only and only for links i can use id also if id is available and link is all, both are available id also link text is available in that case i will prefer to use id okay i never use partial link text i can use css selector also just like xpath on the third second number also i can give it to this guy css selector is also very powerful because internally they are using id only so we can use that okay this i'll give you on the fourth position on fourth number okay so this is the locator one more time for css yeah so for css selector let's say i want to enter something here in this particular street address so just aspire this street address right okay and uh, this input field will be generated so just right click on it on your input field and copy css selector and just paste it over here so driver dot find element by dot css selector and this is the css selector just paste okay and send keys whatever the value you want to provide you can create your own css selector also like what is id id is address one so just write by dot css selector hash and add id okay the css selector the rule is if id is there so your css selector will be hash and whatever the id value so if value is there so i'll write in like this id something whatever the id value will be there hash id okay if id is not there but class is there so what exactly it will be dot and id okay so there are two ways of creating css selector if id is there put hash id if class is there then put dot and class name sorry not id okay. dot and class name whatever the class is there class attribute value is there <coughs> okay so this is what you can create your css selector and xpath the rule is okay so absolute xpath this is called absolute xpath this kind of xpath we should not use this is called absolute value it means the proper hierarchy we are getting okay is so absolute xpath like this should not be used coming from html html to body body to div1 div2 div5 div5 div2 and a if xpath is coming like this we should not use because tomorrow instead of div1 div means division 
okay tomorrow division one it shifted to div two or div three or div four or div five to div seven then your x path is gone and your x script will be failed in that case okay so this is called relative x path if the x path is coming like this then only we should use this is called this is example of relative x path got it Now, I'll create another class. Okay. Handle Dropbox. And Dropbox means the drop down values. You were asking, right? How will you select that? The drop down values. So we can see that a state is there, right? And you will see number of options are available. So how to select, let's see, California from this particular state. How to do that? So first I aspire this and we'll see that this is a select tag ID equal to this. So I can use ID and I can use name also, right? And you will see if you open this select tag, number of options are available. All the country names are available California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware District, right? So all these things are available. Now, but how to select any specific value from a drop down? Okay, so I'll copy this thing. Same thing because this code will remain same. Right? Now, for handling this Dropbox, what we have to do? We have to create the object of select class. So there is a class, select class. Just create the object of select class. Let's see, object name is select is equal to new select. See guys, it's very important. They will ask you at a time of interview how to handle drop down. So immediately you have to say select. This is also called select okay and this select class is already available in selenium so we have to import this see import it from selenium support okay don't do the wrong import okay and it's saying select select equal to new select in this particular select object we have to pass on which object on which element you want to perform action so i want to perform action on where on this driver dot find element by dot id and id is id is this can you see that id is a state like so select select equal to new select class object i have created and inside the object i am passing driver dot find element by dot id but i am not performing any action that dot click or dot send keys or something like that okay so in select class we don't perform action like this send keys or dot click for drop down now by using this object name we have a method select by visible text select dot select by visible text now i want to select california like this california make sure your spelling is correct so i'll repeat first you have to create the object of select class select select equal to new select select class is already available in selenium so you have to import it from select, import it from selenium. And then inside the select class object, you have to pass this particular value driver.findElement on which element you want to perform action. What is a drop down element? So this is a drop down element driver.findElement by dot. I'll use ID because ID is there. Yeah, I can use by dot name also and I can use by dot X path also. Okay, so how to get these things? Simple aspire this drop down. Okay, so you will get this ID and name and pass the value. And then we have method select dot select by visible text and California. So, whatever the value you want to select, just pass the value and it will be selected. So this is how we handle drop down. So, if you run this program, Chrome will be launched and see it will select. California. Can you see that? It's selecting California. 
okay so this is how we handle drop downs okay so what you have to do guys in your assignment you have to come on this page and you have to fill this entire form okay how to handle checkbox just simple driver dot find element by dot xpath or id or whatever and dot click so for checkbox also dot click will work okay and this is for button you have to click on this button continue button same dot click so you have to fill this entire form this is your assignment in selenium okay by using all these things you can use a different combination for some field you can use xpath for some field you can use id name or some other values okay so there are number of fields this complete form you have to fill if it is a drop down you have to use select class concept like this these two lines of code we have to write let, let's see we have dropped down like this month you have to select let's see january right you have to select let's see march so you have to pass march over here but the id will be changed in that case the id will be of this particular date of birth field id right so you have to fill this entire form by using all these different locators six seven locators we have covered today okay so better to use xpath id name okay and css selector these four combinations you have to use xpath id name and css selector okay and fill this entire form this is your assignment if you can fill this form then you are good to go with selenium okay selenium is all about locators any confusion No, I mean like one more question. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there is uh, one more locator getting added. Like I just heard a news that is protect or something like that. Oh no no, who told you that? Oh, oh, do you have any idea about that? No no no, protectors. Who... I just heard from from where? See, this is a incorrect knowledge. Protector is a different tool. On top of Selenium, protectors is used only and only with a javascript language okay so selenium i told you right selenium is supported by javascript in the form of protectors that is not a locator or something it's a different tool altogether okay right okay i, I just heard so i thought to just continue along with you no no never say protector is a locator protector is a tool on top of selenium web driver they have created another tool protector to head okay if you want to use javascript currently we are using java if you want to write javascript with selenium you have to use protector okay okay so protector is not uh, a locator a tool okay so forget about protector it's hardly people are using in the market only and only for uh, if your application the developers they are using angular js technology then only it will be useful otherwise it cannot and it's really difficult to understand javascript it's a very weird language a lot of syntax problem and all those things are there so uh, don't concentrate on protectors and these kind of things okay 95 percent of the companies they are using selenium web driver with java combination most of the calls you will be getting only in java with selenium not with protector okay so first you're comfortable with these things then maybe after six months or one year you can start looking into protectors okay yeah okay so that's all for today and uh, 